Thank you, mate. Five stars. I'm your resident distressed hedgehog with this haircut, guys. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm still in Manchester. I'm trying to get home today, though. A cookie dough shake, please. And then can I get waffles to share? Just the first one. So I say it's really, really famous. Do you get it? <laughs> so Maria and I have come out for some breakfast at this place called Moose Coffee in the middle of Manchester. It's really busy, but apparently it's really, 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 really nice. A lot of people say money makes the world go around. No. No, it's definitely food. I love food. So today, a lot of good things are meant to be happening, but also a lot of bad things are happening. First good thing that happened, I went for an awesome lunch slash brunch with Maria at the best, probably the best breakfast I've ever had in my entire life. It was absolutely gorgeous. You enjoyed it, didn't you? I got a bit fat. It was very fattening. Note to self, don't order pancakes and waffles on the same table. So that was good. Bad things are happening though. All the trains are cancelled. I can't get an Uber. I'm in Manchester and I'm stranded. That's the bad news. Um, trying to get back to Nottingham where I live and it's proving really difficult. There's no trains, no Ubers, there's snow in, it's hailing, everything's mental. But I've said to myself, now, right now, I'm leaving. I don't care what happens. I need to get home. I just really need to get home. Right, so I can't even get an Uber. I'm going to have to go on the boosted board. It's got very little battery. It's really hailing and raining and ah. Oh. But the good news, I've got something awesome for us all to see as soon as I get back and I cannot wait. So it's saying a 27 minute walk but I'm on the boosted board so let's do this. Guys we are all on a mission to get home right now. Let's do this. So I want to say a massive thank you again to my friend Luke picking me up from the train station. This, now, I'm finally home and I'm really, really happy. It's taken me a good three and a half hours to get home and I can see right there, just past Luke's head, my car. And I told you guys, I told you that I was doing some modifications to the car whilst I was in Manchester and that as soon as I got back, I was going to show you guys. But first, I'm really hungry. Luke, you hungry, bro? I am hungry. Let's get some food. As you can see, we absolutely destroyed that. I was starving. Lucas, yes. do you have the magical remote? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right then, so guys, before I get in my car, and bear in mind, I want to preface to this, this, to you guys, is gonna be what? A 1,920 pound aftermarket exhaust on a car on a JCW 2016 sounds like. So this is just for demonstrational purposes, and the reason I'm having to say that is because it's actually illegal how loud this exhaust is. And I'm not joking when I say that, it is illegal, and I'll show you the warnings in a second. But this is the exhaust on the outside of the car. So guys, as you can see, this is my car with the ridiculous wrap on it. Now, they are a little bit dirty because we have just driven all the way to the shop. But as you can see, these are oh, so hot. These are the exhaust with the carbon fiber tip on and they actually say John Cooper works. So this is an aftermarket exhaust system. That is technically what it's called, but it is a mini 
system. So it's actually made by Mini, Sitna, the people that actually make the car. So it's certified to go on the car. You can actually, if you buy a JCW or a Cooper S, you can put this exhaust system on it as you configure your car. I didn't do that. I've done it after the fact. As I say, I've told you guys the price of it. I paid the full price for this thing and I want to give you my little review of this £2,000 exhaust system. Okay? Does that make sense? Cool. Let's get in the car. So guys, I've got loads of GoPros in the back. We're gonna GoPro the car up, but first, we're gonna just give it a little bit of a rev test in this underground car park. So this is in normal without me clicking the special button. And this is what the special button looks like, by the way. So you get this special little remote thing with a button on the top, and then on this label here, it says track mode, track use only, sport mode, public roads. So you can actually only use this on a track. And as you can see, you get this leather little contraption here with a button on it. What I'm gonna do, and this is gonna be a rev test right now of the actual car, just without me clicking the button. So this is just the, what the normal car would sound like with the normal exhaust system. And then what you do is you double click the button and it'll flash a bunch of times. And now the exhaust flap is open. Now if you rev the car. Oh. My. God. Yeah. Then. So I've got some GoPros inside the car and then for you guys also outside the car. And we're just going to go for a little bit of a ride with the car in sport, with the new exhaust system, with the flap open and see what pops and bangs and surprises this car now makes. Just so you guys can get a vision of what it does. Now it's really difficult to put this through microphones because it is so, 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 so loud and we'll probably just end up distorting. But let's do this. Okay, so now it's my turn to listen to the car outside. Luke is coming down right now. Oh, oh my God! It's absolutely mental. Right well then, bro. Cool, See you in a bit. See you later. So guys, I am finally, finally back home. I've been stranded in Manchester, haven't been able to get back. The weather has been mental, and the weather is meant to get even more mental tomorrow. We're meant to have, where I live, up to six or seven inches of snow starting tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., so that'll be fun. Ah, uh, guys, sweet. There we are, all home now, and isn't that a sight for sore eyes? And also, it looks like we've got some parcels there to unbox. I didn't know, guys, that I'd ordered anything, so obviously a company sent us some stuff, which is absolutely awesome. We'll have to sit down and unbox those in tomorrow's vlog. And we're expecting tomorrow, guys, six inches of snow. I was meant to be having a proper photographer come down tomorrow to take some photos of the car, a proper car photographer. But I think, guys, it's gonna end up turning into a chill Sunday vlog at home because we're gonna be caked in with six to seven inches of snow. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. My car outside, I could not be happier with it. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, guys, my name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. I have absolutely no idea what's in these. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily vlog. Sunday guys, chill vlog. Adios. Mm.